Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 4th of 2023 well, it is titled CG4, the globule and the galaxy. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a couple a couple of different objects. We see on the left hand side a galaxy, in fact, a spiral galaxy, much like our own Milky Way. And on the right hand side, we see a ruptured cometary globule. And the image, of course, looks like the globule is about to devour the galaxy. However, of course, we know that the globule is simply a part of our own galaxy and a very tiny part and only looks so much larger than the galaxy because it is so many times closer. And they just happen to be in the same general direction on the sky, giving us the appearance we see here. Now the galaxy itself, as I said, is a spiral galaxy, much like our own Milky Way. And we are seeing it most almost edge on so that we're seeing the disk of the galaxy very flattened. And we know that spiral galaxies are very flat disk galaxies um, and have a lot of star formation going on in them. And we can see some of that with the blue star clouds, the blue tinge towards the outer regions, signifying star formation, young star clusters that have formed within that distant galaxy. The globule, on the other hand, is also forming stars, but on a much smaller scale than the galaxy. Again, the globule is within our own Milky Way galaxy. So at the scale of the distant galaxy, it would not even be visible. But it is what we call a cometary globule for its resemblance to a comet. And on the outer side, uh, left hand side, we see the ahead of the comet and then the tail stretching back to the right. Now the head has been ruptured and the reason for this is not known. But we do know that within that head stars are forming. So we see a young star cluster in the process of formation there. And that will eventually eat away at the rest of the cometary globule. So eventually the cometary globule will disappear at least on relatively short astronomical time scales, things like many millions of years, the cometary globule will be gone. However, the distant galaxy in a few million years will remain essentially unchanged and would still look like it does today. So while right now it looks like that galaxy is about to be devoured, if we could come back in a million years or so, we would see that the galaxy was still there and the cometary globule would be long gone. So that was our picture of the day for January 4th of 2023. It was titled CG4, the globule and the galaxy. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.